Uh, if I can get out here now, I can't because I got stuff blocking. Okay, uh, we had a little bit of rain, so I had to kind of break shop here and try to, well, and the door was locked, so I couldn't get anything inside, so there's a lot of my tools and whatever, but yeah, getting my truck back together Saturday, it's been a week, had to uh, take the transmission out, the old tranny down there, where'd it go, is it in there, I think I put it back in, anyways, it's in there, so I gotta take it off the jack stands, I got, the, oh, look, I got my Larry the Cable Guy shirt on here dug that out of the closet because uh why we, oh man i got my grease out in the rain i have to dry that out now so i got my larry the cable guy shirt on here because i want to get her done get my truck done i got one oh man my blanket's all wet now i'm gonna have to hang that up oh well i got one carrier bolt bearing bolt to put in want to snug up the rest of the uh, or check all the uh u bolt uh u joint bolts on the things on there and i got to put the stick shifter on and the uh boot and all that i got the plug i got to screw the plate down put the shifter lever on and uh uh what else was there Mm, I'll think of it. All right, I got the last. I got the carrier bearing bolts in there. That's the last thing I got. Now I can drop it off and drive it. If you don't have that carrier bearing bolt in there, and you put that in gear, you could throw the drive shaft literally right out of the truck. So I can take her down, roll it off, finish tightening up the uh, U joint front bolts, or check them. I think they're good, but I want to check them. All right, here it is, the moment of truth. I got the, got the jack stands out. Get rid of the letter down here. Zoom out on that, or zoom in, that's all she's got there. All right, then I'll let her down, see if anything breaks under there. Ooh, nothing broke. Uh, let me think. I'm missing one frame bolt and nut, which got this place somewhere and uh there's one pan bolt on the front of the transmission that i didn't put back in because i want to get a couple new ones because we kind of had to booger the heads on them to get them out and they do need to bleed well i don't think i'm gonna this thing's gonna have way more pedal than it ever had even if there's air in the system. Let's see. Oh. oh, what's that not lining up with? There she goes. All right, here it is, moment of truth. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, I got to put the shifter on there. Hang on. Oh, and the seat's all hot. Oh, I do have clutch pedal. Uh-oh. Let me do some hard launches here. No, let's not. Oh, I got the emergency brake on. Can't get it off. It lives. Yeah, I want to get under there and check that U-joint. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to bleed that. Look, it's coming up. It's got it just needs to pump a little bit. I'm gonna bleed it though But yeah, that's as much pedal as it ever had almost ah, man, he's a, Yeah, she's pretty low. I'm gonna have to bleed that Let me go wake up the princess uh, And there's the aftermath in the yard One week took me to get that out and put it back in there's my bleeder. Good. I'm going to need that. All right. There it is. Lucky 13 millimeter wrench. So I got to check those U-bolts and, uh, you might be ready. Oh, no. Bleed that cylinder. I got that wrench in my pocket too. Five sixteenths. 
So I took it around the block. Everything's bled the bled the slave. It makes this weird noise. Whenever you put it in third gear when it's rolling, I don't know why. But it runs. It's good. I ain't got no big shiny wheels or thousands of dollars worth of tires. Actually, I paid 200 bucks for this whole set of tires. And, uh, I mean, they're like, not brand new, but they got a ways to go before they get to any wear bars or anything. And they're all nice and even. And they roll great. Best set of $200 tires I ever bought. And them guys with those big fancy trucks, you see them on YouTube all the time. They're, oh, I took my truck to the shop. Um, okay. Take my truck to the shop. Now it does this, or it doesn't do that, or it slips, and it doesn't go into reverse. And, you know, new trucks are nothing but a nightmare. Manual transmission. I can take it out and replace it myself if I have to. I don't want to, but get her done it's like I said you know cowboys used to say if you can't shoot a horse can't shoot your horse you shouldn't have it you know if your horse breaks its leg and you need to shoot it and you can't shoot it it's just gonna sit there and suffer you shouldn't have that horse so same thing with a truck if you can't fix it you shouldn't have it 